Hi, it's Eric Paulson and welcome to our video conversation this week. I started off in Minnesota on Monday with a big education day. I went and read to students in first grade, uh, first graders at uh, Excelsior Elementary School. Had school lunch with the elementary students at Shirley Hills Elementary out in West Mound, West Tonka. Had a great meeting with some of our superintendents in the district as well. Touch base on their issues and then I wrapped up the day also going out to the Chanhass and the Chaska robotics teams and seeing some of their displays and activities that they're a part of and then finally wrapping up with the high school arts competition. It's the annual arts competition where we pick the best artwork that will get displayed here at the United States Capitol for one year. Our winner this year was from Rogers. Check out all the pictures and more information on my Facebook page. Now we're going to get into our questions and actually the first we picked this week comes from Vera in Eden Prairie. She writes in, Dear Representative Paulson, Current immigration law has a, numer a numerical limitation for employment-based immigration, which allocates a maximum number of immigrant visas for each category. This is unfair, as there are certain countries for which the number of immigrant petitions is far less compared to others, which in turn has created long wait times, sometimes in excess of 10 years. I urge the members of Congress to change this law. Thanks, Vera. Actually, Vera, those are very important comments, and uh, you're right. Our immigration system is broken. It's hurting our economy. It's locking out the next generation of innovators. And this week, I took action by introducing a reform measure, bipartisanly with one of my colleagues, to help make sure that those students that are educated in the United States get a PhD, are educated, trained here. We don't kick them out, send them back to their home countries where they become our competitors, but instead, we make sure those folks do get the availability. If they're gonna work here, they get an offer from an American company to actually stay here, get a green card, get their H-1B visa, and then they will be productive and not competing against ourselves. And so this is a good way to help our knowledge workers, uh, help improve our economy, keep innovation at the forefront here in America, and it's a very bipartisan initiative. Hopefully it's a good first step in unlocking the immigration reform challenges that we have. Then we got another question that came in this week. It was an email from Nancy in Chaska, who writes in, Congressman Paulson, diabetes is a costly epidemic with diagnosed diabetes alone costing our country $245 billion last year, a 41% increase now in just five years. Half of all seniors in our country have prediabetes and are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Please take some action to help provide quality and cost-effective care for those who have diabetes. Thank you, Nancy. Asking Nancy, you're actually correct, and actually 5% of Minnesotans have diabetes, and one out of every $3 that are spent in Medicare are spent uh, is related to diabetes and that's because those folks that get diabetes have other chronic conditions that come for that hypertension, heart disease, kidney disease and so there is other legislation that I'm co-sponsoring on a bipartisan basis that helps bring forward more coordinated care, more counseling, so we're doing pre-diagnosis ahead of time, working with patients. It's the right approach that will save healthcare dollars down the, down, downstream if we can tackle this up front with more wellness and prevention programs, and it's focused on diabetes prevention in particular. Thanks for joining our questions. Please continue to send your thoughts, your ideas, and your comments, always on the website at paulson.house.gov, or of course, on Twitter or Facebook, and reach me at any time. Have a great weekend and a great week.